Hi friends welcome to my channel. Here are some more practical and tricky JavaScript interview questions along with their answers. Question 1. What will be the output of the following code? Console.log 2 plus 2 1. Answer. The output will be string 2 1. JavaScript performs implicit type conversion when using the plus operator. In this case, the number 2 is converted to a string and concatenated with the string 2, resulting in 22. Then, the subtraction operation 1 tries to convert the string 2 2 to a number, resulting in the value 22. Question 2. What will be the output of the following code? Console.log, boolean of empty array. Answer. The output will be true. In JavaScript, an empty array is considered a truthy value when evaluated in a Boolean context. Therefore, the expression Boolean of empty array returns true. Question 3. What is the difference between the double equal to and tripal equal to operators in JavaScript? Answer. The double equal to operator performs loose equality comparison, allowing type coercion. It converts the operands to a common type before comparison. For example, 1 equals equals 1 is true. The tripal equal to operator performs strict equality comparison without type coercion. It checks if the operands are of the same type and have the same value. For example, 1 equals 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 1 is false. Question 4. What will be the output of the following code? console.log, type off type off 1. Answer. The output will be string. The type off operator returns a string indicating the type of the operand. In this case, type off 1 returns number, and then type off number returns string. Question 5. What is the difference between a function declaration and a function expression in JavaScript? Answer. Function declaration. It uses the function keyword followed by a function name and a block of code. It is hoisted to the top of its scope and can be called before its declaration in the code. Function expression. It assigns a function to a variable or property without a function name. It is not hoisted, so it can only be called after its declaration in the code. Question 6. What will be the output of the following code? console.log 1 less than 2 less than 2. Answer. The output will be true. JavaScript evaluates the expressions from left to right. The comparison 1 less than 2 is evaluated first, resulting in true. Then, true is converted to the number 1, and 1 is compared with 2. Since 1 is less than 2, the final result is true. Question 7. What will be the output of the following code? console.log 2 1 plus 1. Answer. The output will be 21. JavaScript performs implicit type conversion when using the operator. In this case, the string 2 is converted to a number, resulting in 2. Then, the subsequent addition and subtraction operations result in 2 to 1 plus 1, which is 2. Question 8. What will be the output of the following code? console.log 0 double equals to false. Answer. The output will be true. In JavaScript, the double equal equal sign operator performs type coercion. When comparing 0 with false, 0 is converted to a Boolean value, which is false. Therefore, the expression 0 equals equals false evaluates to true. Question 9. What is the difference between local scope and global scope in JavaScript? Answer. Local scope, variables, declared inside a function have local scope. They are only accessible within the function and its nested functions. They are not accessible outside of the function. Global scope, variables, declared outside of any function have global scope. They are accessible from anywhere in the code, including inside functions. Question 10. What will be the output of the following code? 
console.log, type off, type off one. Answer. The output will be string. The type off operator returns a string indicating the type of the operand. In this case, type off one returns number, and type off number returns string. Please keep watch the videos and subscribe the channel for watching more videos. Thank you. Please like share and subscribe.